ideas of time and place. Um, time on one hand being geological time. His geological legacy is very much evident in the Ice Age erratics that dot the horizon, in the turlocks and in the clints and cracks that have been etched onto the surface of the limestone. I think these marks are very much acting as natural hieroglyphics that chronicle its weather journey over time. And then as the light fades you look up and see the lights of a satellite or a distant radio mast and you become instantly aware of a whole other landscape all around you, maybe not visible, but they're all the same. This is the visible and invisible intricate network of signals that supports the infosphere, completely surrounding us. It leads to a different disorientation or dislocation. You know you can be located exactly on a digital map, a digital grid that you cannot see. As our material environment constantly shifts and changes, so does our perception of it. are laid out in a grid or a network, the old form of computer programming with punch cards. As the light catches the varnish, the holes appear and disappear as you move in relation to the surface. I suppose it's like a signal appearing and disappearing. So you feel slightly displaced, disorientated. Where certain forms, patterns and textures repeat themselves. It's an attempt to use the visual lexicon of the past to articulate and chronicle our experience of the transient, often invisible now. And I suppose the real question is, where do we locate ourselves when these two very different landscapes?